today I'm going to show you how I made this repurposed book Collagraph. So first you're going to need an old book and this was a gift <laughs> from a friend in a box of old books and I'm taking gesso and just going over the covers. I'm going to transform both the front and back cover. This video will be just of the front. So anyway, coating the whole thing with gesso and then you got to let it dry actually let it dry and it set for a bit because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it. All right, here we go. So I'm going to apply flexible modeling paste and random objects to create this collagraph. The reason for flexible modeling paste is that when I put it through the press, I don't have to worry about it breaking. It's real bendy. So I'm using random objects and fruit bags, like what the little baby oranges come in. Sometimes I let it dry. Other times, like now, I rip it off and it gives it a nice lizard skin-like texture. And objects that are coated with cooking oil for easy removal. So I found that if you place objects into the modeling paste and then allow it to dry and then go to remove them without some kind of substance to coat them, they don't come out so hot. So, hence the oil. I also carve into the modeling paste while it's still wet. I allow this to dry till it's almost dry. So when it's mostly dried, the objects are still easy to remove and I can go ahead and get them out. So I'm plucking them out. Had to use a nail to get some of them out, but there you go. There's the texture on this book and I liked it as is, but underneath is that lovely orange cover. So I'm going to peel it and carve it. There's the back. I'll do another video with the back of it. And then it's set for a little bit because I jumped to another project. Here is that book cover collagraph. I begin months back and I decided to do something different this time. Broke out the clear tar gel. I'm just gonna go ahead and smear it all over the top before I even cut it. Should make the ink slide a little bit better. Using an X-Acto knife and also a scribe I use for printmaking, I'm just carving into the modeling paste and gesso and peeling it off the cover to reveal the orange underneath. For printing, it really wouldn't make a difference like what color it was, but I like the orange and so I'm really having a good time with this one. And whether I print it or not, the orange is definitely a keeper. I'm going through and developing the different textures into different shapes and scratching into it. For printing, every little scratch, every little texture will print if I print intaglio style. So I'm going in and I'm carving away. The areas of the book cover will print very dark if I ink it up as it is right now because they will grab the ink. But this is just for a design. I'm scratching through, peeling it off, and I'm really liking that look of orange underneath. The spine was really hard. I didn't want to tear into the book and cut it, and so I'm just kind of scratching away. Haven't decided what I'm gonna do to it, but I wanted to get some of that modeling paste off. And then I had an idea, ooh, I'm gonna cut through. Gonna cut through and take out that negative space and then realize I had a drawing on the back, and so I cut around it. It's very tricky cutting through a book, so be careful if your fingers are behind it because you might get a surprise. The back is very rough looking at the moment, but at this point, I don't care. I'm digging out the layers of the paper even more and cutting through. I needed to change my blade, but I didn't have any more on hand, so I'm using what I got. It took a little bit of time, and, in the, and <laughs> at the end of the process, my fingers, they kind of hurt a little bit, but it is what it is. For printing, the areas that I cut away completely will print white. But so I have to remember what will print and what will print dark and what will print light. All right, as it is right now, here it is, ready to go, either keep as a book cover or ink up and print. Thanks for watching. Upcoming video on the printing of this book cover. <laughs> I know it's. Uh, so rigged.